Hey, how's it going everybody? I just wanted to make a quick little video showing one of the most common problems that beginners run into when they apply uh, an effect like a CC bend or you know any effect that includes a point control. Um, and that is when you actually place this point somewhere and then try to move the layer itself, these points don't move. And that's a little frustrating. And same here, um, I just have a bend effect on here and this is chart and end point. I try to move this layer and it's having these weird deformations that, you know, that, that I don't want. I want these points to actually move with the layer itself. Mm, so that's what this video is all about. You just have a short letter expression to have the points follow along with the layers. I like to save that expression um, to kbar so that I can, with one click, I have these points moving along with the layer. So I'll post this uh, expression down in the description. So you might want to go ahead and save that, but I'm just going to quickly explain what it does. And who knows, you might have other instances where you can use this or, you know, it's good to learn how the expressions work. So let's get into it. Let's all click this chart timer here and type in this layer dot to comp zero zero. And what this does is that uh, it took this property, this point control value, will be same as this layer's composition coordinate system, which is locked to zero, zero. So basically the local value here has been converted to the, this layer's composition coordinate system and it's, the local coordinates are locked at zero, zero. And let's apply the same thing to uh, the endpoint. And now you can see that both the points are at the same place. So basically the zero zero part uh, is used for tasks like aligning layers and to reference points relative to the composition. That helps to relate both points to each other in the composition. And now all we need to do is add this to the value, add this to the coordinate value that we place here. So that will be this property dot value. Now we can actually move this point. So this point is actually, so this value is actually adding with this value here. Let's also do this for this one. And now we will be able to move these points. So now if we move the layer, these points are moving along with it. So that's basically what this did. Um, if this was useful to you by any chance, uh, let me know. Be sure to leave a like so that I can keep creating more of these stuff. Um, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.